Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, 2nd day of May, 2023, and this is training vlog, day 563 of Operation Great Reset Build Back Better. Road work training, wheelchair road work training. All right, let's get this shindig started, shall we? Beautiful day out, as you can tell. Not a cloud in the sky. Uh, but still a little cool. I think it's like it's like up upper forties right now. Maybe the low fifties. But I think it's supposed to be high the of 65 or something today. So I actually went out. I did train yesterday, but I decided to scrap that video. I actually took a tumble, believe it or not. I actually posted it at first, but it got no views. So I went ahead and just took it down. But I was feeling really strong. I thought I would attack that hill, and uh, apparently I was feeling too strong. I tried to attack the hill, and I got about a half, you know, I don't know, I got a little ways up, and I was really struggling and working on it, and uh, uh, and uh, made the mistake of the same thing I did. Last year, when I first started getting enough strength to work on the hill, I got up to a certain level, and then I had just completely wore myself out. And so, when I was going back down the hill, I had no strength, so I lost control. And uh, went down and ran into a curb, and boom, pitched me out of the chair. Fortunately, there were a lot of neighbors around, so, it sucked. They all put me back in my chair, but and it all worked out pretty good. I didn't break, you know. I I landed really good, just like on my knees and elbows, and did like a little acrobatic roll. And uh, so it could have been a lot worse, but. So I'm going to take it easy on this hill today. I still feel really strong, but that was the same mistake I made though yesterday. I was feeling really strong, so I thought, all right, I want to try zigzagging on this hill, see how good I do. And yeah, it turned... Pardon me? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I think I... I really lucked out, man, where when I fell, because I landed like just the right way, like right on my elbows and the knees at the same time, and I just kind of took a tumble, I just kind of rolled, like, I just really lucked out, man. Yeah, it's uh, that hill, I was feeling really strong, so I thought I was going to try and attack that hill, and uh, I just went up so far that... I just wore myself out. So coming back down, trying to break the chair, that's, I lost control and I couldn't control the chair coming back down the hill. Do I? Hang on. Hang on one second. What'd you say? Oh, no, man. Uh, no, I was really appreciative. Yeah, the neighbors were all really cool about that. Nobody laughed, so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom, so, no? Mom? Yeah. Bye. Alright, well, I'm just how you doing. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, I'm going to keep it moving, though.
Yeah, it's weird. I'm still feeling really strong in a lot of ways, but for some reason, maintaining control and going downhill is somewhat of a challenge. So, that takes, like, just as much strength, I think, in my opinion, than actually going up a hill to be able to go down it slowly and in control. So, I gotta be careful about how high I actually try to go up the hill. So this is a pretty good first lap though. Oh. But yeah, like I said, I really lucked out because I just... Kind of hit my elbows and my knees at the same time. Did a nice little roll. And, uh... You know, the thing is, when you get older, you gotta start... You know, watch yourself when you fall. A little bit harder on your body. Than when you're younger. And especially being in a wheelchair, uh, your bones become brittle. It's almost like a form of osteoporosis. Uh, when you don't get up and walk around a lot, your, your bones become brittle and you don't really use them. And, uh, but what works really good is uh this is where I'm a living testament for uh <sighs> calcium calcium supplements because uh what started happening to me I you know I fall I fall fairly regularly not real regularly but at least uh, once or twice a year hello At least once or twice a year. But uh, usually it's in Jordan. But what ended up happening was they, they warned me of this because this happened to me when I was 19. I had a car wreck and that's what put me in this wheelchair. And I'm 54 now, so they warned me. They said like, it takes like 20 years, but after about 20 years, you start getting build, uh, little bones. And so I never had any problems with brakes or anything up until... I guess I got into me about my 40s. And when I would break, I fall and started breaking stuff. Broken ankle. Oh. Uh, I know I, uh, I mean, well, my lower leg, uh, I guess that's the one, I forgot, the shin, the tibula, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, when I fell once, and then I broke a femur, and then, uh, ended up breaking the hip, and then I was just like, shit, uh, uh, I started, you know, I noticed my mom and other old ladies, uh, they say, uh, older, mature ladies, whatever, uh, they say, you know, they, I don't know, they will, she told me, you know, just how great the calcium works for, uh, Osteosporosis for you know for ladies when they it like the doctor always complimented her on just how good her bones what good shape her bones were in and that's like she used to take calcium so always take calcium supplements so I thought well what the heck 
can't hurt me and I start taking it and yeah I mean I can just tell when I when I fall out it's like everything feels a lot more stable where it feels like I actually have really solid strong bones when I hit the ground but it, it was getting to where like I would hit from the times I broke bones I would hit the ground and yeah there just wasn't a stable feeling and I could hear like a break or a snap or something but so yeah that calcium works really I mean it doesn't just work a little bit, just kind of, it works really good. I mean, the difference is night and day, because now, like I said, now when I fall, it's like I can feel the solidness of my bone resisting the fall. It's like that. You can feel the, that solid infrastructure. So, I want to work on this hill. training is going really well. Um, I, last time I did weight training was so on Saturday and I uh, was actually able to go up in weight a little bit. So, we, and yeah, the, my shoulders, man, are just doing great. I mean, I can't believe how well they're doing. Uh, I still lost a lot of strength from when I got that first injury. It's almost, uh, uh, they're just feeling so good now. Uh, hardly any pain, except from just regular old, old man aches and pains. But, <laughs> that's why I'm sort of really liking these uh, other side projects that are going on on the uh, Charles Lanson YouTube channel because uh, when uh, when I have to produce the Crow Man's shows it kind of takes takes time away from my training videos and all but also mainly uh, these uh, these out on the town shows um, really give me a chance. Usually on those, when I do those shows, they have to be during the week, most mostly because I use the public bus, and, uh, which only runs during the week in St. Charles. Uh, so, I, on those days, I tend to not do any road work training. So that's I'm not over I'm not as much not at as much of a risk of overtraining like I was before. So these little side projects not only do they add some uh, diversity, I guess it's, uh, to the uh, YouTube channel. But, uh, not the first thing. I forgot the word I'm looking for a bit. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I guess diversity can be used there. Uh, but, 
that uh, gives people different things to watch than just me doing my stupid train training vlogs. Ah. Oh, which reminds me, programming news. Uh, yeah, uh, Commander Crowman from Hell, the Harbinger of Doom, wanted me to spread the word that he is tired of practicing. Um, he feels that he could probably, if he did practice a little bit longer, he could probably really have this song nailed uh child in time by deep purple but he's tired of mess tired of messing around with it so uh he's just gonna go ahead and uh put it out today later on today he's going to be posting uh his new music video um new music video. God, what am I running into? Uh, Child in, uh, he's going to be covering Child in Time by Deep Purple. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, using just musical styling and uh, or vocal styling, I'm sorry. Vocal styling, I don't know. It's debatable on how musical it is. Some people seem to get a kick out of it, but uh, I know he enjoys doing that. Being a crow man hybrid, uh, he just seems to naturally gravitate toward the, har the harmonica and the sounds the harmonica makes. Uh, and uh, being a harbinger of doom, he likes songs that kind of flirt with the dark side. Uh, and anything having to do with death and destruction, whereas Child in Time, it's debate. I mean, it's really hard to tell with, from looking at the lyrics what that song is actually about, but it's still kind of a dark song, so uh, he's going to be performing that later on today using just uh, vocal styling and uh, Honer Special 20 Harmonica in the key of G. And so... He's looking forward to it. And then he's going to be doing another episode of Overkill uh, sometime in the not so distant future. But uh, he was going to do it. He was going to do it last weekend, but he got busy. I think he just had some uh, uh, recent hatchlings. Uh, Right, him and his little, him and his little cr uh, crow hybrid lady, uh, ladybird, ladybird crow hybrid woman. Uh, I don't know if she's an actual real crow or not. I, I, he just mentioned that he needed a little time off because uh, some of his offspring just recently hatched. So uh, that's good news. I hear there's been a little bit of a spike in uh, people having babies lately, so I guess that goes for pro-man hybrids as well. Then again, I guess, you know, these hatchlings, I, I guess they could be... I mean, he's pretty weird. I mean, he's, he was created in a lab, a uh, top-secret government lab below Dulce, New Mexico. Uh, where he from whence he escaped during the Dulce Wars, which I think he's going to be going into at some point on his show. But so I'm thinking he might. And so that being said, he's always had a thing for science, especially gen genetic research and stuff like that. So I, I think I know he's got his own lab. So he might have been producing offspring just in the lab, you know, through a lab type situation, I don't know, but he said he had some kind of hatch hatchling activity going on, he had to see to his, uh, his children, as he, 
as he calls them. Uh, so, um, but he's back, back in action, and chopping at the bit, raring to go. So he's going to be doing that music video later on today. Wanted me to pass along the word to everyone. Ah. Ah. I'm not gonna try it too much. I mean, that was where I got in trouble last time. So, plus I'm on these pro hormones as well, which are not, you know, they're not full on steroids, but they're kind of, I guess, fake steroids is what real hardcore bodybuilders call them. But Still, um, it's you can get sort of the same effect as far as injuries go if you if you try to go full blast, full bore, which is kind of what I did last time. Uh, you know, it's kind of easy to start feeling this boost in strength and, and muscle size, and so you start training like a wild man and tear shit up. That's what it, exactly what I did before. So I gotta so you should you know this stuff you shouldn't go a one hundred percent. You should go about eighty percent. Always leave a little in the gas tank. Leave a little in the gas tank. Ah, don't go till exhaustion. Ah. Here's a little pump. Ah. Wish I could do better. But it's kind of slowly coming back. Ugh. Woo!
Oh yeah, so other programming news tomorrow. Going to Wapple Horse Park. Um, and uh, so there will be no training vlog. But uh, I will be doing Out on the Town with Big Chuck from St. Charles. I'll be shooting the video anyway. But uh, oh, I'm not 100% sure. If, I'll, if the, the movie will be on tomorrow, because sometimes I'm just so exhausted when I come back from these uh, out on the town videos that I just end up going to sleep. Uh, so it'll either be tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening that I post it, or early morning the, the next day, early morning on Thursday. But, uh, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, there'll be a lot of programming coming up on the Charles Lanson YouTube channel. So like I said, uh, later on today, gonna be uh, Crowman, Commander Crowman from Hell, Harbinger of Doom, is going to post his latest music video. Then tomorrow, out on the town, with Big Chuck from St. Charles. Like I said, either it's going to be tomorrow toward the end of the day or Thursday morning. And then Thursday, I plan, I'm not quite sure what the weather's going to be doing, but I plan on just doing, if the weather, weather permits, going to be doing training videos on uh, uh, Thursday and Friday and uh, Saturday I plan on doing another little out of the town segment with this because this one I don't actually have to use the bus uh, there's a I want to go down to uh, I know that I've already filmed our shot video down at uh, down, uh, down in Fox Hill Park, but uh, and Bachelor Greenway, but I didn't take any pictures. And this time I'm going to a different part of uh, Elm Point Park. Uh, side out point park where uh, Bosher Greenway goes down and then crosses like Bosher Road I think Bosher Street Bosher Road and uh, and then it goes Bosher Greenway goes to uh, uh, Fountain Lake Park so Saturday just so from here I, I won't even need a ride I get in my power chair, go down to the park, down the street, shoot, shoot some video, take some big pictures there, get on Basha Greenway, shoot some video, take some pictures there, and then I'll be taking that to Fountain Lake Park, and I'll be shooting some videos and taking pictures there, and that'll be on Saturday, so like I said once again, I'll either be posting that stuff, Saturday afternoon, early evening, or early morning Sunday. So stay tuned for that. get up to that first line at least once and then definitely take a long rest to get up there. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta take a long rest. I didn't make it to the first line, but I'm not gonna push it because. I just took a tumble yesterday, so that scared the shit out of me. Let me do this at least once. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking a long, nice, long rest. This is what I used to do back before I started training again, I think. Now I remember why, because I did almost, I almost fell before. I did almost the same thing, where I, I was coming back down the hill, uh, just like a, maybe a year ago, a little over a year ago. I was just starting to make progress on this hill. And so, tuckered myself out, coming back down the hill, I lost control. And I just, I ran into the ass end of a car, but just, out of sheer luck, I hit it at just such an angle to where I wasn't pitched out of the chair. And I just really lucked out. I lucked out both these times. Even when I fell, I lucked out just in the way I landed. I, but now this is why, now I'm remembering why I used to take such long breaks by this hill. So, because God, I had that strength coming back down the hill. That was pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that was, I didn't feel wobbly at all. Yeah. But I was definitely scared after falling. After falling yesterday. So. Anyway, I did post it at first. And I left it up for like eight hours, but Nobody went and looked at it, and so I kind of thought, ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's the universe's way of telling me to take it down. It had zero views, and I just thought, eh, maybe it'd be more discouraging than inspirational. So, ah! Oh, disturbing. But then funny. I thought maybe, you know, some people might get a kick out of it. A lot of people actually seem to care about me. So, might have, might have been more upsetting than uh, fun, happy, good times.
Woo! Lordy. Canadians can keep it for all I'm concerned. I think that wind's coming right out of Canada where it's cold. Uh, uh. Got a few pretty good friends up in Canada though. So I don't know how they deal with it. There's the timer. I don't wanna. Maybe I'll do one of my laps for the hell of it. But just a little cool down lap. And then again, maybe not. Yep. I just don't wanna overtrain any of it. Definitely. Time. time for us to part ways. So until our paths cross again, happy trails everybody. <laughs> <laughs>